you know, this is why I was talking about near protocol um, for HBAR, because HBAR is going to, if you studied how near is played around with its 10, if Bitcoin continues its run, HBAR will potentially do something fairly similar, you know, get above it, come below it, use it as, re uh, use it as resistance, go down a little lower, come back above it, use it as support, something, something like that. Then maybe consolidate under this area here. Um, you, you really like, no matter what time frame you're on, you want to use the MTFM EMA. If you can see over here. Okay. And you just click indicators and type in M T F and you want to start it and, and then just hit the gear and inputs one what, so go to one week, put 10, put it, whatever style you want full opacity, big line, red, whatever color, you're going to want that on your chart. Even if you're on the five minute time frame, you, you want this on your chart um, for sure. This is, so this is one where it is, you know, it's had a decent run up and this is going to be a little trickier of analysis because it already has had an aggressive move up to get perfectly rejected by it alongside now Bitcoin starting to move. <laughs> Take this moment to give me a quick thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, check out the Discord community within the description section, follow me on Twitter, at Cosas Verdes with the number two afterward, and if online community is not your thing, but you want exclusive content above and beyond what I offer on YouTube, click the join button right below this video, another video will pop up describing your options to you. It might need to go sideways for a while. I wouldn't expect a big pullback if Bitcoin stays strong, but what I could expect, or maybe even a box like this, um, I think it might, so there are a couple ways that this could go down before it has its next move up to that target area of, uh, let's say 25 to 26 cents for, I mean, that's, that'd be a pretty big move. So from current, um, that would be, yeah, that'd be a 17% move, uh, raw price uh, with no leverage. Um, I, there, there are a couple ways, assuming Bitcoin doesn't spill over here. So under that specific conditions for H bar. Uh, it could keep consolidating, have a couple wicks above, come use it as resistance, do this, consolidate under, then get above, then use the, t the red line as support, and then make its move up. So I, and then I would extend uh, this red line here, something like that, so you could see how it would play on it. To that, to, oop, wrong color, there you go, to that degree. So it, it, uh, it could... That would be honestly a very likely way it does. It gets above, fails it, use it as resistance, consolidates in this box a little more, gets above, use it as support, then moves up. That would be my main guess, but there are a lot of ways this could go. I mean, hell, th this is a little bit larger of a market cap. So if if this were a smaller cap coin, like you know things I cover like uh, Veracity or uh, MTV, like it, it could just it could go straight up and then you know do another pump and then come down test it, you know consolidate and then do it all over again. Like it, sometimes they scream above, then come back and check. But this is a little bit larger of a market cap, so I think it's going to stay more tightly knit somehow uh, to its weekly ten before the move up. And this is another option it could do. It could just get straight above it and then consolidate on top of it and then make its move with the idea that Bitcoin continues. So that is your analysis uh, for H bar. And again, the weekly ten's coming in at um at twenty two cents seven twenty two cents uh twenty two point seven cents and I think the you know a good uh, profit area would be somewhere around twenty five cents uh on both sides twenty four twenty six somewhere around there um that would be a, a pretty good area uh, for expecting a, a pullback after a move. 